This is Pac-Man. You've definitely heard of it. And it's one of the most popular games, period. So let's talk about it. Pac-Man had a very interesting story on how it was made. In Japan back in the year 1979, Toro Iwatani was thinking of video game ideas that related to food. While doing so, he grabbed a slice off of a pizza box and he realized that the shape of a pizza box resembled Pac-Man, or what was originally called Pac-Man. And it was how Pac-Man's iconic shape was made, and what led to the creation of Pac-Man. The reason why Pac-Man was so colorful was because Iwatani wanted to try something completely different from the standard arcade game at the time. He said, when I started drafting up this project in the late 1970s, the arcades were filled with violent games all about killing aliens. He wanted to create a game that had zero violence in it. Pac-Man actually took a decent amount of time. Other than Toro Iwatani, it was developed and published by Atari Inc. under an official license by Namco and is now officially owned by Namco or now known as Bandai Namco Entertainment. The planning was done by Iwatani, the sounds of the game were made by Toshio Kai, and the programming itself was made by Shigo Fanagai. It started development in early 1979 and was finished in May 22nd, 1980. It took around a year and five months, which at the time was in fact the longest time spent developing a video game. It was released in the US in October that same year by Bally Midway and it became a huge success immediately. Immediately. Before we talk about how it impacted the gaming industry forever, let's actually talk about the game itself. So, let's turn the game on! Alright, so the game seems pretty simple. All you have to do is move Pac-Man around, avoid the ghosts, eat all the dots, and ooh! Some power ups. Also, there's two player mode. Also, a quick fun fact before we move on the world record score for Pac Man is 3,333,360 points, achieved by Mitchell Rose in 1999. He managed to get to the final level, where in level 256, the second half of the screen is broken. Not even the developers knew that it existed. Alright. Now, how did Pac-Man impact the entire gaming industry? So, when it was released, it had a lot of firsts. It was the first game to use power-ups, which is now considered a standard for games, the first game to have cutscenes, one of the first games in the maze genre, and the first game with, you might not see this coming, deterministic artificial intelligence. That's at least what Google says. But Pac-Man was everywhere. There were Pac-Man cereal, a Pac-Man TV show, and apparently a hit Pac-Man song on the radio? Basically, you couldn't go anywhere without seeing Pac-Man. Turn it off after 7 years and installing 293,822 arcade units, Guinness World Records acknowledged the game as the most successful coin-operated game in the world. That is an insane record to have and it shows how successful Pac-Man was. Thanks so much for watching, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.